Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a new bottle here on my cask. It's a Mordlach, 12 years of age and it's called the Wee Witchy. It's 43.4 ABV and it's in the mid 50s, 60s. And there had been a predecessor of this bottle without an age statement with the same ABV and it was only 0.5 liters in size and it was a lot more expensive. So you had the smaller bottle, a higher price, no age statement on it, and as suggested, uh, it didn't sell well. No, it was just just there on the shelves to rest forever. And they did a lot of marketing efforts to promote that whiskey. It was a special uh, ambassador for this whiskey. Nothing helped. So this was just too expensive two small bottles, too much marketing. And now there's a 0.7 liter bottle. It's the same maybe we. it's cheaper. It carries an age statement, everything how it should be. And it's called, it has or carries the name, the Wee Witchy. And it's named uh, after the smallest still in the Mortlach distillery. They have six stills and they do not distill uh, in pairs as it's typical or in two sets of three. No, all six stills are combined in a complex set of pot stills with a lot of valves and receivers and intermediate receivers and so on. And in the end they mix the whiskey from three distillations and two distillations uh, so that the result is, well, a theoretically 2.81 times distilled whiskey. So there's a mixture of most of it is three times distilled and the other part is two times distilled. And the witchy is the smallest one and smaller stills typically give a more robust, more intense taste to a whiskey. The smaller they are, the heavier the whiskey is. And uh, so they, here they write on the label an ode to the still that bears the beast of Deftown. Yeah, if it's really a beast, we will see. Three times distillation typically <laughs> leads to quite soft whiskies. And uh, here you see the six stills uh, in a diagram, how they're mixed together. And uh, yeah, so this is it. And here there's a spider diagram on the box and shows uh, a lot is a little medium malty, a lot of freshness, a little wood, a little spicy, a lot of fruit. Yeah. Casks, ex sherry and ex bourbon casks, taste rich, fruity, and vibrant with hints of umami, that's uh, proteins, flesh, light spice, dark chocolate, and cherries. So uh, the fruits with a stone in it, leading to a smooth yet dry finish. Add water or ice to reveal the true Mortler character. Please, no ice. No. Um, the distributor sent me a small sample of this one. There's a plastic cork in it, so there's no uh, need to smell in it, just have it. Fruity. And uh, Yeah, I always liked Mordlach. There had been several independent bottles and a very special one, the Flora and Fauna series. I think it was a 16-year-old, uh, which was matured 100% in sherry casks. I think most of them first fill sherry casks were wonderful dram. I don't know if it's still there. I think uh, the new range of Mordlachs, 12 years, 16 years and 20 years, two more videos to come. Uh, they will replace the old 16 year. Yeah. It's fruity. It's red berries. A lot of them. Some caramel, toffee. So this is the second sip I have. In the beginning, just without anything on my tongue, there had been most of it had been light red fruit strong 
So there's no alcohol in it, smellable, the taste is strong enough. There's some, some oak in it, sandalwood, more aromatic, and a little spiciness in the back, but all in all, it's pleasant, it's smooth. A lot of fruit, fruits. Mm -hmm. Sweet, oily, again, fruits, sugar cane, probably, really sweet. And a longer aftertaste, and no, no bitterness at all. So there is spiciness from the cask, however, no coffee, no espresso, no dark chocolate. It's wonderful, pleasant, spicy in the aftertaste. It's a round, well balanced dram. It's not at all a beast. No, it's most of it is three times distilled, remember. So this is a wonderful, balanced, fruity whiskey in the start and medium long aftertaste with a spicy oaky note in the aftertaste. The fruits from the sherry, but not those dark fruits, but lighter red ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oily and sweet in my mouth. Wonderful feeling. The aftertaste, probably a little drier, but not really. So this is a well-balanced, well-sipping whiskey. And it's, well, I'm happy that Mordlack now switches over to a more common uh, size and price for these whiskies. They will have a real success with this one, I'm sure. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come. The 16 and 20 years old are to come. Thank you.